The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development says that homelessness is getting worse in America. Today, they released a 2020 homeless assessment report, and it shows on a single night in January of last year, more than 580,000 people were without a home. And now, HUD says part of the problem is the limited availability of shelter space. And here in Chattanooga, the city's regional homeless coalition says the unsheltered homeless population rose by more than 80 percent in Hamilton County. Now, Channel 3's Grace McKenna explains why and how unexpected COVID relief payments may help. An already vulnerable population. The increase that we saw here is not unique. It's it's everywhere. Made even more vulnerable by COVID-19. This week, the Chattanooga Regional Homeless Coalition released its annual count of the unsheltered homeless population. In Hamilton County alone, numbers rose by 81%. The housing market right now is, is also really tight. Um, it's really hard to find affordable housing units to put people in. Coalition Director Wendy Winters says COVID strains and consistently rising rent prices are to blame. That's where she can step in. Double deposits, um, sign-on bonuses for landlords. Coalition funding gives landlords incentives to help keep people housed. The region received more COVID relief dollars in state funding than winters expected this year, around six million total since the fall. We, you know, consider housing people as health care. Here's the catch. They have just over a year to put the money to work. We'll reevaluate and and at that point we may um, be looking at the need for more funds. After that, Winters needs landlords at the table and a better supply of affordable housing to paint a new picture of homelessness in southeast Tennessee. Reporting in Chattanooga, Grace McKenna, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. The Chattanooga Regional Homeless Coalition represents Hamilton County and 10 surrounding rural counties.